Hey guys, it's Janine here with a new video and today I'm coming to you with a tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this Tropicals water look, then stay tuned. So the first thing I did was I took my eyeshadow base, which is my NYX base in skin tone, and I applied it to my upper lid and my lower lid and just make sure you blend it out really well. And because of all the vivid colors that we're using in this tutorial, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and applying that to my lids and blending it out really well. First shadow we're using is Lime Juice, also by NYX. And I love this green, it's so bright, so vivid. And we're just gonna take that and apply it to the inner half of your lid. Next to that lime green, we're gonna take this Nika K shadow, it's a very iridescent bluish green shadow, and apply it to the rest of the lid, the outer half. Um, I don't know the name of it because they don't go by names, they go by numbers, so I'm not sure um, what to put, but it's just a very iridescent blue-green with kind of gold flex in it shade. After that's blended, I'm going in with this Inglot palette that I made myself, and this there's this true blue color that I absolutely love and we're just going to take that and apply it to the outer corner like a little maybe like a third of the eyelid in that outer space right there. Also make sure that you blend this into the iridescent blue green color that we applied before. Then I'm going in with my warm palette from Coastal Scents and I'm taking this matte brown color. Any color that matches your skin tone is what you want to use and I'm just applying this from where we place the eyeshadows around the crease area all the way up to my brow bone as my bridge color. I'm also using my original 88 palette from Coastal Scents. This true, another true blue, but it's a little bit deeper than the one that we used before. And this is the color that I'm just going to apply in the crease area. I'm then taking this MAC shadow in Deep Truth and a really stiff crease brush. And I'm taking that and applying it into my outer V just to create a lot of depth and dimension to the eyelid. For the bottom lash line, we're just repeating the shades that we used on top, so I'm going in with lime juice. I'm also um, taking that color to, not only to the lower lash line, but also to my inner tear duct. So we're bringing it down through there. Again, we're going in with that iridescent color from Nika K and applying it next to the lime green. And then the Inglot color which is this really nice blue. I'll find the number later and just applying that to the outer corner. And lastly we're taking Max Deep Truth with a pointed brush and applying that on top of where we brought the other blue from Inklot and connecting it to the outer corner on the upper lid. To line my eyes, I'm going in with my NYX Super Fat Eye Marker, which I love, 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 and just creating a really deep, dramatic, um, winged liner. Line the outer half of your waterline with a basic black coat liner. 
and then apply a thin layer of mascara to your bottom and upper lashes. I'm using L'Oreal's The Luminous Original. And I'm not keeping now the strength I need to push me. You show the lights that stop me, turn to stone. You shine me when I'm alone. And so I tell myself that I'm in control. I'm dreaming when they're gone, cause they're gone. So here I'm just showing you guys where I cleaned up underneath my eye. I had a ton of fallout. So I just went in with my um, my foundation, a little bit of concealer, and cleaned it up. This look isn't complete without false lashes. I took these lashes that I got off of eBay. They're really thick and dramatic, but I cut them into half sizes so that they would just be accent lashes and not full strip lashes. I find that it just adds a little bit more oomph and doesn't cover up the color. And once I applied them, I like to just take my eyelash color to curl them and blend them in with my lashes. And again, go in with my mascaras that I used before and just blend them in a little bit more. I'm then using this light shimmery gold color, it's almost like a champagne from my warm palette again from Coastal Scents and I'm taking a really tiny brush and just applying this to my brow bone as a highlight. Onto the face, I'm using my absolute favorite. This is CoverGirl's Ebony Bronze from the Queen Collection to contour my face. If you are a woman of color, get this bronzer ASAP. I also got into the habit of contouring my nose just slightly, just to give it more definition and make it appear a little bit slimmer. For blush, I'm just taking a hot pink. But just take a little bit, you don't want to overdo it. You just want to keep it simple, like a light flush, so it doesn't detract from uh, your eye makeup. I'm then using this balm, I think it's L'Oreal Balm, um, in natural to condition my lips. And then I'm taking my go-to liner, which is Nika K's Brown, and lining and filling them in. On top of that liner, I'm just taking my Creme de Nude from MAC, which I love so much. Just to add a very islandy kind of corally orange to the lips, I'm taking these two glosses. The first is from the Body Shop, and the second I think is L'Oreal's Lip Gloss in uh, I think it's Coral something. I don't have the name. I will link it below. Sorry. And that, my lovies, is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and try it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email me or message me here on Facebook. You guys know I will always answer back. Mwah. Love you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my giveaway that's still open right now. I will link it down below. Good luck.